Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Refuse Podcast. This week brought to you by Squarespace, Arizona Circle, and Away. Believe it or not, I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Chris. I'm Blaine. I'm Barbara. <laughs> Still Gus. <laughs> um, so, what was it? Two weeks ago, we decided we were going to dress each other up. Yep. For an episode of the podcast. I don't even know how we came to that idea. Guess I'd who dressed Barbara? <laughs> Guess who dressed me? Try, guess. People will never be able to figure that out. Front of that. Thank you very much. Wow. (laughs) Oh, wow. And here, Barbara Dunkelman is wearing the latest one from J.C. Penney's. Now, this is the uh, circumcised edition. That is correct, Christopher. Uh, She looks marvelous in her new knit knit (laughs) sweater. Circumcised is more for a, a summer look. Now you can accessorize with this one, Chris. You can get a cock ring. Uh, oh, it just yeah. really ties the the whole look together. A Prince Albert, I think it's just called. Indeed, yes, yes. So those are extras. Look, now, at, look at the way those balls dangle. Those and sway. testicles are really nice, and you'll notice that she's shaven, which is a, a nice touch. And Harry it's really shows that she put the extra effort into this. Mm-hmm. The testings. Wow. wow. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> graceful. Do the worm. Do the worm. <laughs> she's, she's, she's really. She loves this look. Wow. She's about to just pop from excitement. Just Explode overjoyed. With... Wow. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Mm. <laughs> How you, appropriate. You mentioned that you had a different costume in mind that you were going to order. Yeah. That never came. I got you a superhero related costume, but it was damaged in shipping, and Amazon returned it today. They were like, it was going to be delivered at noon today, and they were like, no. Nah. Just out of curiosity, what was the superhero? Uh, it know. was like a. F- I got a few, but it was uh, the pa- the whole shipment went back. I think it was Deadpool because it covered your whole face. Oh. I, wanted you to be, I wanted you to just be completely gone. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think fu- it was Deadpool with a like a ponytail at the top. Yeah, that's oh, that would have been fun. Gwynpool or something, right? Anybody? No. Uh, the know. best part is that I spent twenty minutes getting my makeup done before the show, so that would have been. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Makeup and hair, which you could see. <laughs> talk a lot um <laughs> along with that she liked to leave her vibrators oh my god oh, everywhere wait it like in the multiple okay so she yes, just like have, multiples like, old faithful she had like <laughs> a ring yeah you can see that too like straight up the most that i saw was <laughs> yes the most that i saw was six at a time six at a time is the max but oh, even oh that's a god. lot for a woman she had a lot of pleasing needs how what? many did she use at a time like, that's the real question no, no. <laughs> it's a new level yeah okay. so she was like this is she one time when we were i came in i was like yo so um just want to talk about it, but you've been leaving your vibrators out. Um, Are they, my, did she leave them out dirty? I don't even know, probably. Oh, I assume. You, but, like, it was like, you'd come in, and her nightstand had, like, six vibrators. Maybe so she like, left okay, them out she was cleaning them. <laughs> like, my family's coming over yeah, later. Yeah, cleaning. Not, Wait, not was coming over. Good rub was this a good rub? This is, like, I'm a two wild child. I'm Siri. It's just, I'm just really... You're Siri? I'm Siri, but I just really wanted to sit next to Barbara. It's fine, I get it. She's radiant. <laughs> just, just a She's golden. Really. Look at her. She's golden, and I'm dark and mysterious, and I just feel like we have a vibe. There you we go. do. It's yin we and go, yang. We go together. Or like yin and, and yang, yang, if you will. Mm, yin and yang, if purple. you will. Huh? Ah! Get off my show. I'm never going to be able to come between <laughs> this <laughs> I want to talk about something that happened this weekend, or, or last weekend. Uh, the Extra Life stream. Uh, oh, yeah, because yeah, I guess some, this is, yeah. There was some... There was some kiss action going on. Well, there was and the best thing. part of it was Mika in the background just like... <gasps> I yeah. know! So everybody was like, Mika representing bi and gay girls everywhere. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, so for those of you who don't know, we, we did have our extra live stream uh, a couple days ago. And Ashley and I, uh, as you may know, Ashley Jenkins works for Rushdie from the Beautiful Lady. Um, we said that if we got five donations of Leet, which is one thousand three hundred thirty-seven dollars, mm-hmm. within the hour we would kiss, as you do, yeah, yeah for the kids, yeah, for, for the, the kids. kids, yeah, and of course they we wanted. did, yeah, uh, yes. and so we kissed. It was just a little like it was very it was, cute. Yeah, it was a little passionate. Pass. I I mean I had to watch it like five hundred times just to make sure. Yeah, no, 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 it was like a pack. Yeah, is there like is there like a place that this is? Yeah, saved? Oh, there is. Can be I can. I will forward yeah. it to you. It's on a you couple should, places just, on Reddit. I I didn't <laughs> notice that I was so intently staring <laughs> until the pictures came out the next day of me just like. <laughs> I, was like oh, I mean, what? I saw a lot of comments that were just like, "When you're bi as fuck, watching your two straight friends kiss in front of you," and it was like a picture of you. Like, I was like. 
<laughs> it was such a perfect Some, screen cap. Like someone captioned it like, you're gay awakening, though. <laughs> <laughs> A hell of a weekend to be away. I know. Yeah. I really God, that we had to make up for you being gone. I know. Well, originally, like I had planned to be out of town that weekend because I knew Extra Life was supposed to be the weekend before, like yeah. a long time ago when I bought my flight. Damn it, the camera was on me. Do I spill? <laughs> and, and then of course, like when we changed it, I was like, well, fuck, because I I'm I'm going. I went home to see my family because I'm spending oh, Thanksgiving family. with my girlfriend's family. Mm. And so I was like, oh, I'll get this. You know, I'll go and see them. And then I was just like, I was sitting at home, literally like just like watching Twitter Aww. and like thinking, oh, I'm just, like, oh, my friends are making out. And I'm just sitting. At home. <laughs> I know. It's the what? worst. We could have been there. What the fuck? One of the comments was, "Where was Mario?" Like I feel like I. Can hear her screaming from wherever she is right now. It's cool. Okay, it's well, fine. you don't think we'll Dumbledore's figure it out. gonna? I don't know. I, pop out a few. I, I mean, he's brothers. not popping them. Oh, I. Are you saying your brother? Yeah. Oh. I don't know though. Um, I don't even know if he plans on having kids or if I, my little brother, as far as I know, is not dating anybody yeah. and is just a hmm. robot. For now, your brother might have a couple. I don't like to think of my little brother dating anybody because he's yeah. too young and pure. Yeah. Steven. <laughs> Have kids. <laughs> Make Barb and I. I want more dunkle mania. Dunkle mania. Oh god, that's more people to pun. Actually, I take it back. Stephen, yeah, don't do it. I, don't do it. If you know my older brother, you would not want him to spawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I love him. He's great. Your brother. Is I feel great. like every time I get a notification that he tweeted at me, I'm like, what is it? <laughs> What does it yeah. say? And every time I'm like, Stephen, no! Try yeah. being at a family dinner with us. Oh, God, that sounds like Here, the worst. What you don't know is my little brother is the worst. Worse than you and Stephen? I like that you're sipping your drink <laughs> proudly. So my grandmother always said, it's only polite to slurp once. <laughs> <laughs> Nana says. Nana Feinstein. Nana, Nana, Nana suck my dick. Fishman, another Jewish name. Nana can just suck my dick. That is harsh. Barbara Dunkelman. Fuck Nana. Just kidding. I love Nana. I hope she watches this. Uh, have you? Gotta, oh, have you guys pissed in public? I have. Like, um, I have a, a really bad story about that. It's I probably got some type of disease when I did this. Oh, well, what? This was my senior year of high school. And we were doing, um, it was like a scavenger hunt with the entire graduating class, where obviously like people were drinking. I was a designated driver, so mm -hmm. I was not drinking. But we were like racing every other group to find these certain things and get pictures of these things. And um, we were going from like in the park from one place to another. And I was like, guys, I really, really fucking have to pee. And they're like, we don't have time. Like we have like 20 minutes left and we still have to get these two pictures. And I was like, fuck. There's a garbage can over there. Like, give me two seconds. <laughs> and I pull down my pants, and it's one of those fucking, like, giant oh, industrial yeah. garbage cans. And I hop on top of it, and I'm, like, holding myself up oh around God. the rim. Yes. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's a baller. Pee, okay. And I, like, hop off, and I'm like, shake off a little bit, <laughs> shake off the excess, and pull up my pants. I'm like, okay, let's go. <sighs> So Were I don't know if my like vagina <laughs> touched like garbage or like needles did or you, anything like did that, you, but I'm okay Did now. you win? Yeah. We came in second. Music is my life. Oh, what's your favorite Nirvana album? Uh, the second one. Yeah, second one's good. Wait, which one was that? Uh, it was the one after the first one. I'm an employee. I'm a manager. I'm a boss. From the 80s. What are these? Did you guys put something in this? How'd you like your iPhone? I totally don't care what I look like. I mean, I only spent two hours on my makeup this morning, but that's typical. Hello, and welcome back to the season finale of Million Dollars, Buddy. Million dollars. Million dollars. But. A lot of money. Man can no longer make fire. Your anus <laughs> is like a little pilot light, and that's the only source of fire. You'd make so much money selling fire. Yeah, Are it's like down? a dude, he's like, <laughs> he's got a cigarette in his mouth, he goes ass. down, comes back up, and it's lit. <laughs> If someone can't come light a torch on my butt they and they can. carry it back to Russia. You could do the Olympic torch that way if you wanted to. Think how proud you'd be when you see the Olympic torch on TV too. Like the big one that runs in the stadium for like two weeks. Gavin you'd be like, I did that. Yeah. I made that. It's yeah. imagine a really cold night in Canada. Just and you're like outside. Squat. Everyone's just like huddled by your ass. She's like, oh. All your friends are just like. It's so cold. <laughs> rubbing. And roast yeah. marshmallows. Over your butt. Making yeah. s'mores on exactly. your ass. Exactly. Like, Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> Pass me one, guys. Oh, I got one coming. Hey! All right, Barbara, what's your story? Let's take the pin out. So, uh, I want to start off the podcast before we get into everything to say that today is a very, very special day. Um, you know, we're all here on the podcast together. Why did it cut to Bernie? Um, today is the birthday of a very special <laughs> man who we all admire and love Go and cherish very greatly. Sounds and, like a great uh, guy. 
that is uh, Mr. Chris Demers. <laughs> wow. So happy there birthday, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. Yes. How old is Chris? I think he's 29. I want to say 28. Or 28. I feel like you pulled the switcher on that one. Also, it is Bernie Burns' birthday. Hey. Happy birthday, Bernie Burns. You know, someone was Clap. saying, do you, do you want us to say happy birthday to you at the Monday meeting? And I was like, there's like 150 people. What was that? There's been, we there's have, like hey, four balloons. Balloon. We have some party hats. Oh, this one's going to hit you on the head? Oh, hey, I missed. Barb, since you're a guest, why don't you go first? All right. You get a million dollars for the rest of your life. Every time you hear the happy birthday song, you have to go over to the place it's being sung and eat the entire cake. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so not even for your birthday? No. The moment it starts, you have to get up, <laughs> go over. So not only is this a physical challenge, it's also incredibly rude. Okay, so say I've been walking past a restaurant that's singing it. Mm -hmm. I just bust it in, <laughs> put that cake down, it's mine. Eat the whole thing, yeah. and I'm feeling just awful. <laughs> you eat the whole cake! And then I hear it again. Like, I physically can't eat another cake. Like, do I have to just bulk up the first one? You do Am whatever I, like, you need to do to eat Hiding it. outside the restaurant, like, throwing up an old cake. <laughs> you see, like, happy birthday, Jimmy, and you're just like, <laughs> You're gonna get your ass kicked, like, on a regular basis. You're not even gonna get through the cake. Someone, some dad is gonna be decking you. <laughs> the hard part would be, too, is that your friends would know this, and they would get an enormous cake, and then all sing happy birthday, just to watch you have to eat yeah. this huge cake. <laughs> all right, million dollars. Every time you have a birthday, you have to eat a birthday cake. You know, I'd probably do it. I would do it too. A million bucks? Yeah. I just, I'd like the excuse to be able to eat other people's cakes. Um, I have a lot of things on my bucket list. Um, like metal ones and plastic ones. Wait. <laughs> I was, I thought you said meta. So I was like, okay, meta. Okay. Barbara. I said metal. Oh, okay. That's Barbara, fine. no. How dare you? Ever leave. since I picked that question, I've been waiting to say that. I want to leave. Patrick, I don't want to be on the like, show anymore. I put you in the middle so you can't escape. Let me out! <laughs> Do you just like think of those things? Like when you're like, this is an opportunity that I have. I'm going to keep this and this little nugget in yeah, the back of my brain. I have brain. like a section of my brain that's for like really bad jokes. And it's like a, only about that big. But Pun I just storage. Like store things. But it's like yeah. it's like full to the brim oh, at yeah. all times. At all times. So did that just like pop one out and leave room for another horrible something? So <laughs> stay tuned for later. In the <laughs> um, but in all honesty, I think it's gonna sound very cheesy and very typical. But I think writing a book. Okay. I I bet you could come up with a bunch of like really good s short stories. What is it? Is Arnold Stein? Who's the Who's the guy that does the book of poems? Shel like, Silverstein. Uh, the Shel Silverstein. Silverstein. Yeah, yeah, I bet you could do like a badass Shel Silverstein yeah. type book. Or Talk maybe like poems. Yeah, or so, like short stories or something like small little. Uh, like comedy stories or something. Yeah, or, yeah. you know something yeah. like you know. This it, like, guy who doodles. was four foot nine walked it. What, what? Short story. Oh, oh God. God. Let's just go. Wait, guys, take my hand. 